Here's the title page from a special relativity graphing exercise back in the late 80s. Have you ever wondered how Einstein came up with his famous formula e equals mc squared? Well, rumor has it that he first considered e equals ma squared, and then he decided, no, nah, that's not right. Then he considered e equals mb squared, and similarly he said, no, nah, that's not quite right. So he considered e equals mc squared, and he said, that's it. E equals mc squared. Just kidding. By the way, true story, Einstein died in 1955, and I was born shortly thereafter to take his place in 1958. Well, it's partly true. I, I was born after him. He died. But whether I was born to replace him is, remains to be seen. Okay, last time I said we would consider rational expressions with complex trinomials. For the first example, I'm just going to put a complex trinomial on top. That's one where that's not a 1, it's a 3. This is a simple trinomial, and we've already factored that one. If you look back at a previous video, that's just x plus 2 times x minus 1. So to save time, I'll do that. Because 2 times negative 1 gives you negative 2, and 2 plus negative 1 gives you 1. So this is correct. Now, to factor that complex trinomial, we have to get 3x squared. So these x's times those x's have to give us 3. There's only one way to do that, 3x times x. Using negative 3 and negative 1 doesn't, doesn't make it any easier, so we'll use 3 and 1. Stick with positive numbers. And then these two numbers have to multiply to negative 4. But not only that, this times this and this times this has to add up to 4x. That's where it becomes a bit tricky. You can guess those numbers by trial and error until you get the right answer. There's a method called the Australian method, which is very useful, but it doesn't really show you what's going on. So I'm going to show you the method of decomposition to, to, to factor this complex trinomial because it's, it shows you why it's working. So by that method, we have to find two numbers that don't multiply to negative 4. They have to multiply to 3 times negative 4 which is negative 12, and they have to add up to that same number, 4. So if you take a moment and think about it, the two numbers are 6 and negative 2. So what we do next is we rewrite this complex trinomial as 3x squared, and then instead of 4x, we put 6x and negative 2x followed by the negative 4. It turns out the order in which you do these two doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer in the end. The factors will just be switched around. And then we do something called factoring by grouping. We consider those two together and those two together. Because if this is going to factor, then they'll have a, com they'll have a common factor, as you'll see. So what can I factor out of those two? I can factor out 3x leaving me with, me with x plus 2. And if this is going to work, one of the factors over here also has to be x plus 2. So don't think about what it's going to be. Just rewrite it. And then ask yourself, what number has to go here to make that equal to that? Well, that would just be negative 2. Because negative 2 times that gives me negative 2x minus 4. And then, because the x plus 2s are common, we can factor those out, and whatever's left over goes in this bracket. So a 3x from here, and a negative 2 from there. Now again, I can switch the order, which I did up here. So this would be 3x minus 2, and x plus 2. And then you see that the x plus 2's cancel, as long as x is not negative 2, and as long as x is not equal to 1. So the final answer is 3x minus 2 over x minus 1. So I encourage you to practice factoring using the method of decomposition because it makes the most sense. It might not be the quickest, but it makes the most sense. Alrighty, see you next time.